What is going on guys? Welcome back to SC Outdoors. Today I am doing some uh, mid-sized stream fishing. As you can see, it's it's not huge, but it's, um, it's high today. We got a bunch of rain this morning, so that sucks. Um, normally this is a lot of pocket water, but it seems like uh, there's not a whole lot of pockets at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna use a, something fast, probably like a, uh, like a heavier tungsten bead nymph or something like that. Um, I'll show you my setup here in a second, but the goal is to catch some wild browns. Um, this is stocked in places, but I'm not sure here. Um, I think it used to be. I'm not 100% sure if they still do it at this spot. Nobody's here, which is nice. A couple weeks after trout season opened, everywhere's been packed. I drove around to a couple different spots um, trying to find some good looking water. Uh, but we will go with uh, we will go with this one for now. If this doesn't work out, there are other streams in the area, so I'm sure we'll make something happen. Um, like I said, I'll show you what setup I end up going with here in a second. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully it's a good episode. All right, guys, quick look at the setup that I'm running. I've got about six foot of um, four car carbon four pound test leader. Um, like I said in my last video, it just makes it a little bit more um, versatile if I need to change out flies, whatnot. I have some extra space and it's a lot cheaper. Um, so, and me being cheap, that is what I'm doing. Um, but on the bottom here, I've got a nymph that is covered in algae because this creek is covered in that stuff. But a um, size 14 red stonefly nymph. Uh, it is a fast series from Lively Legs. Um, I really, uh, really enjoy this for faster water. And since this creek's flowing up a little bit, I thought it might work. Um, and on top of that, I've got a mop fly. Um, doesn't sink very far, so figure if anything it's going to be an indicator for me but I could see fish coming up for that as well um, I've done well with it in the past we'll see I um, ran the same setup yesterday and it worked pretty well for me so let's see if we can make something happen There we go. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, he came off. That was a nice fish too, that was a rainbow. Probably from uh, this year's stockings. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was a rainbow anyways. If not, it was a decent brown. Man, two missed fish now. Let's land one here. This just rose right here, right in front of me. We can get a bite. There we go. Feels like a nice fish. He's not bad. Not for sure. There we go. Got him. He took them off. Nice. Now I don't know if this is the one that just rose, but one just rose. Right So there we are, first of the day, and he's not a bad one. Very cool. He took the mop, like I said. Um, first two that I missed, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they took the nymphs. Um, but hey, that's, that's cool, man. First fish on the board. Thank you. 
Oh, that was cool. That was really cool. Ah, come here, buddy. Not even that big of a fish, but he freaking nailed it. All right, guys, I had to get a quick picture of this guy. He's my first dry fish, fly fish. That was a cool bite, man. There he is. Back in there. Probably one of the cooler bites I've had fly fishing so far. That, I could see that getting addicting. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not even really matching the hatch here. I just, I don't have very many dry flies, but he took it. Uh, so let's see if maybe we can turn this into a dry day. There we go, another one. So rad. This is a pretty good one. There he is. Nice. Another beautiful little wild brown. So cool, this is gonna be fun. There we go. That was cool. And so sick. Really cool take. Been casting at this fish for a while. I saw him rise a little while ago, if it was him. I'm sure there's others in here. fish there we go fish on oh nice fish acrobatic take that I'll show you my setup here in a second I definitely switched it up no more drive Get this guy out of here quick. Oh, oh man, he just jumped out of my hand. All right, well, there we go. So the uh, dry fly bite kind of died. Um, stopped seeing fish rise for whatever reason. I mean, I still see bugs around, but I hadn't got a bite in a while. So, went back to something, to another double setup. Um, but, it's a little bit different. So I have this uh, Rainbow Warrior Nymph on the bottom, lively legs, just without the legs. Um, I was using one with the legs earlier today. And on top of that, I have this little mini, uh, it's called a mini mop from, from Lively Legs, but it reminds me a little like green inch worm or something like that. Uh, but that fish took the nymph. So good to see that that worked. This is the first pool that I'm trying it in. So Let's see if we can get some more. Oh, 
another one. Oh, it's a good one. Really nice fish. Wow. He is fighting hard. Again on the nymph, it looks like. Yes, look at this fish. Oh, man, I got stuck in the tree above me. That's, wow. That's a nice one. Wasn't as big as I, near as big as I thought he, he was when he first bit. But he is a good one out of that same. All right, guys, check out this fish. That's a good one, especially for this creek. Beautiful. He's definitely a male. Again, took that nymph. Took that rainbow warrior nymph. So that's two out of this run here. There we go. Ooh. Nice rainbow. I'll take that. Surprisingly, the first bow of the day. We are pretty far up from the stocking points at, at this point. So, he could end up being a holdover from years past as well. I've caught him up here anyways. There he is. Good one. Right, flipping around, he got the hook out at least. Nice bow. I'll take that. There he goes. I will for sure take a nice bow here. Not like a giant fan of um, stalking over wild trout, but if they're gonna be here, I might as well catch them, right? There we go. Back at that same pool that I got a bunch of those, uh, I got a couple of those dry fly fish on. And we got us a little brown. Have the stocky look to him. She very well could. I don't. I'm not sure if they stock him that small in here or not. But didn't didn't quite look wild. Just about to wrap things up here. By the way, um, I'm making my way back, just kind of fishing here and there. But uh, maybe we can get one or two more before the end. All right, guys. I am wrapping things up here. Um, it was a blast. A little bit of everything worked for me as far as what I used. I got one on the mop fly, got a few on the dry, um, got a few more on the nymph. Um, yeah, I think a total around 10 fish or so. I'm not sure if you guys saw all of them, but mostly browns, a couple rainbows. Um, some nice fish, good average size fish. It was cool to get a dry fly fish. I have never done that before, so that was, that was cool for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's 70 degrees, beautiful day, beautiful creek. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely subscribe, um, like for me, please. I got more stuff coming. No chance I'm going to stop fishing. So until next time, see you here on SC Outdoors.